Luigi, the remake that belongs in 256, and today I'm going to be talking about Fast 2, and I'm going to be talking about the new features in Snow Leopard. Um, some people say it's a service pack, but I'm going to prove them wrong, along with a guy on YouTube named Apple G5 Barox, I'm subscribed to him, please go support him. He has some awesome videos up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the Finder. Um, now you can burn stuff to disk, and you can even use this, uh, toolbar down here to, um, change the icon size instead of well in leopard or tiger you have to actually press command J. Of course it has its status right there. Oh, um yeah. Also, we have the new Safari four. Um no one does. Uh we now have the top sites tab and um for more info on Safari four um, you can go check it out at apple.com slash safari. Um, minimize that. Um, also, you now have iTunes 9. And in system preferences, this has been improved a lot. Desktop and screensaver. Desktop. You now have more desktops. Plus, you can um, change from translucent menu bar to opaque and back to translucent. Next, you can go to screensavers. I believe they added some new screensavers and maybe some more options. Next, language and text. You can, um, and then under the text tab, you now, in Tiger, this, um, language and text is actually labeled international. Um, for any people that are still on Leopard, tell me if, uh, language and text was labeled international, because I don't know. I'm, as I said, I never had Leopard. I upgraded straight to Snow Leopard from Tiger. So you have all these um, keyboard shortcuts, and uh, you can even add your own by clicking this plus sign, um, typing in what you want it to be, so the shortcut is, and then what it is, you can go to Edit, Special Characters, and you can view the characters and stuff like that. Um, also in Date and Time, Time Zone, you can actually set your time zone automatically using your current location. Um, also, you can uh, show the date up here. And um, finally, in, in Universal Access, um, I'll open Voice Over Utility. And uh, they have a bunch of new... Uh, they have a bunch of overall options. Um, from what I'm used to, which is Tiger, there's like a thousand more options or so. And it, you now have QuickTime Player 10, where you can now record a movie, audio, or even a screen recording. And uh, it has a new interface, so when you watch a movie and you move your cursor, um, it'll just, the object, or the things will fade away, and plus you have a new interface. Um, mail now has Microsoft Exchange support. Um, we gotta go. Hard. Text there again, keyboard shortcuts. Opera, I think that's new with Snow Leopard. Um, it's a, it's an alternative to Safari, but it won't crash while you're pl playing Flash games. So if you're gonna play a game in using Flash, I recommend using Opera. Um, how do you get to Opera? You can go to any Safari web page, um, right click on a word and click open URL in Opera. And uh, then it'll launch Opera. Um, and you can drag it to your application stack so it's always there. Um, dictionary, you can, it now has an Apple dictionary and you can even search through Wikipedia right from there. Um, front row, I think this is new. Um, for any Leopard users out there, tell me if this is new, because I honestly have no idea. Um, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard and press escape to go back. Also, expose. Let's say I have a finder window. I'll make five more. Actually, you know what, I'll just stick with five. Now I'm going to open up, I don't know, a dictionary and make two new windows and open the Safari window.
for the best. Dang it. Oh well. Well, uh, let's say I only want to. When I go into expose, it's so crowded. Plus, you can press the space bar to see a full size image of all the uh, windows. But let's say you only want to see one from a certain application. You simply hold the application icon and you only see the ones from that application. Finder, Safari. Now I'm gonna. I'm actually just gonna go here and get out of all these windows. All right, and um, yep. Talk about scrollable stacks. Plus, you can open a folder right in stacks. And uh, with, and you can go back and stuff. And um, yep. See you later. Subscribe and bye.